loose this new song. Alan Free here. The station is WINS. The beat, the big beat, the biggest of them all. Rock and roll. And here we go to rockin'. Here we go. I'd sit alone and watch your light. My only friend through teenage nights. And everything I had to know. I heard it on my radio. Being a disc jockey back in the 50s was fun because we had something that began to save radio. What did you have for music? Uh, Ray Anthony with the bunny hop, bada boom, bada boom, Perry Como. And this wasn't the kids' music, it was the parents' music. You talk about 1954 and the changing scene in America. The communist scare. Carthyism. He goes left. One communist is one communist too many. Papa's looking for mama, but mama is nowhere in sight. We've just begun to fight. The establishment, the Eisenhower era, all of that stuff was something the kids started to revolt against. Teenagers began to like uh, black music. Our music was Frankie Lyman. Little Richard. The black disc jockey started the revolution of rhythm and blues. But it was looked down from the white society. You got to understand, in the 50s, before the civil rights struggle, it was racial discrimination. of the young kids during that time I didn't want their precious white kids to listen to this black music devil's music then came WDIA WDIA in Memphis, Tennessee was the first black programmed 50,000 watt radio station in the nation. So the only voice of the black community at that time was a black DJ. Nat D. Williams, B.B. King, Rufus Thomas. That was the beginning of personality radio. This was our stage. People in Memphis are so critical. Well, they would boo their mama. They said, oh, leave them alone. There's a bunch of clowns over there. They're not part of the, the mainstream of what's happening in America. People started catching on. Everybody having a lot of fun, oh baby. 